So the rig I've chose today for pellet fishing for skimmers in the cooler months is exactly this. Starting with the elastic itself. The elastic, you don't want to go too soft here. If you go too soft, you won't set the hook and you'll end up bumping fish because you're not setting it. So I've gone for something a little bit of backbone, yellow hydro elastic, which is sort of a four to six is hollow. And then the line, main line is 015 N gauge. The float itself is a one gram version and this is in carbon from our natural range. Reason I've gone from a gram is because of the depth you know, you're fishing in sort of nine foot of water here. If you're fishing two lighter floats, basically it takes forever to settle and it'll move about and drift. So you want something that you can shot it so that it falls slowly, but it sits there nice and stable so that your rig's not moving about. And then coming down the rig itself, when I get to my bulk, I've used a 0.6 of a gram Olivet for this. So I've left myself 0.4 of a gram, which is the equivalent to about four by 14s, to mess about with my shotting. So I've locked the Olivet in with some shot either side. I've got number nines either side of that Olivet. I've got five below and four above. This just keeps it nice and straight um, rather than just having one or two shot either side. And then below that, I've got a little kicker shot set about an inch below my bulk. And that just helps the rig from tangling. Just make sure it kicks away from that Olivet. And then I've got three number nine droppers again. So these droppers are slightly tapered and what tapered means is the closer they get to the hook the further away they spread apart so this one is probably four inch from a kicker and then the next one's probably five inch from that and the next one's probably six inches from that and then my last dropper shot is six inches from my hook and i've got a four inch hook length you could use a six inch here but four inch just means that i can pull that shot down if need be if bites are a little bit tricky to see so i can get the shot nice and close to the hook and then my hook length itself is 010 N-Gage Pro and I've finished that off to a 16s F1 pellet hook. The reason I've gone for an F1 pellet hook is fine wire, it's not as heavy as sort of like a medium gauge wire so the fish won't feel the resistance as they pick it up. Skimmers can be very soft feeding fish and they're very gentle when they pick baits up so if there's any weight there sometimes they'll want to spit it out or you'll miss bites. So nice fine wire sharp hook is really important.